Hey, DK team, I wanted to go ahead and just roll out a quick update for At The Movies, make sure that we're all on the same page. There's just a few things that are gonna be different this series and also this week specifically. So starting with this week, it's gonna be moving on update. Uh, what that means for us is all of the five-year-olds who are in pre-K will now be moving up into kindergarten this week. It's gonna be their first week in kids' church. So do me a favor, let's just make sure as a team we're putting out extra energy, we're being extra excited and welcoming uh, and just showing that love and care for them as they come in. We want them to really have a great and positive first experience with kids' church. And then if you see any fifth graders who have now moved up into sixth grade, they're actually now gonna be in the main services. So if you have one that comes in, go ahead and point them my way. I'll go ahead and make sure that I talk with the family so that they know they're actually going to be downstairs in the sanctuary listening to Pastor Wayne speak and they'll also be able to attend motion going forward. So that's just for this week the moving on update that'll be the big change so again a lot of new faces just make sure you're welcoming you're extra excited as the kids come in this weekend and then also this series is going to look a little, a little bit different so instead of orange curriculum which is what we usually use everything's been written in house uh, for this series. So it's only going to be for just this series going in September. We'll be back to normal. Uh, but there's a couple changes that you need to be aware of. So number one, the Bible story is going to be a little bit different. And we'll go ahead and cover that in just a second. And then the other thing that'll be different is the small groups. And again, we'll get to that a little bit later. So the order of service itself will remain the same. We're going to open with hosting. Everything will be the same with that. Maybe a little bit shorter to make more time for the Bible story, but it'll be the same. And then worship will be the same as well. What will be different is the Bible story as the teacher is going to be communicating with the students and then he's going to go ahead and throw it to a clip from the TV show, The Chosen, which you might have heard of before. It's a really great TV show and should just be a good way for the kids to just enjoy watching something, kind of something different for us. So anyways, he's going to teach, going to go ahead and show a clip, teach, show a clip and kind of continue that until he gets to the end of the teaching when he's going to wrap it up. While he's teaching, I do ask this, please be with the students. We wanna make sure that as a team, we're engaging with the services because when we engage with the services, then the kids begin to look at it and go, oh, okay, I wanna do what my leader's doing. I'm gonna pay attention as well. So we wanna make sure that we're engaging as a team so the kids are. And then the other reason I want you guys engaging is because the small groups are different. And so you're gonna actually need to know the content. That way you can communicate it to the students as well. So make sure that you're watching uh, the Bible story because you're gonna be teaching them on it in just a second. So after the game is done, we'll go into small groups and this is where things are a little bit different for you guys, specifically my leaders that are teaching small group because it's only three sections for the whole month. It's gonna open with an icebreaker where you just get to know the kids, help them feel comfortable. Then it's gonna go into the content and finally into a prayer. And there's not a lot here. So make sure that you guys are going ahead you're talking with the students, you're dialoguing with them, you're just getting to know them. And again, you're making them feel comfortable. Groups are gonna look different because all the students will have moved up. So you're gonna have new kids, uh, as well as a couple old kids might have rotated out of your group. So just make sure you're keeping an eye on that. You're greeting the new kids. You're kind of getting to know them uh, and just making sure that they feel welcomed into that group. Uh, the other thing is that every group will have the same content. So whether you're in K first, second, third, or fourth and fifth, you will all have the same content on planning center. You'll just see one small group. We're gonna be doing that for the whole month. We'll all have the same exact content for the month. So make sure that you're paying attention to that. The planning centers will be going out here in just a few minutes after this video is launched. So you'll be able to check that out, see if you have any questions. The only other thing that I want you guys to know for this week's small group is that there's a trust fall activity. Please, please, please make sure that you are the only one that's doing that, that you're allowing the kids to trust fall and you're catching them. Please don't allow kids to try and catch kids as they will fall. Uh, maybe they just think it'll be funny. They won't do it. They'll forget to, but whatever it is, we don't want kids falling and getting hurt. So please make sure that you are leading that trust fall. And then the other thing to note is that as soon as all the small groups are done, we'll dismiss like usual, we'll allow them to go play, and then they'll be allowed to have popcorn on the way out as they're leaving the building. So if they bring popcorn into kids' church, we'll tell them that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and say, hey, can we grab that though? They're not allowed to be eating it, so we'll write their name uh, on the box and we'll put it in the back until the end of service. And the reason why we wanna do that is because we don't want the kids uh, to go ahead and be distracted, or we want another kid that can't have popcorn to be upset. We just wanna make sure that kids stay focused on the service and the main reason why we're here to teach about the Lord and learn about that. And then at the end of service, we'll give them the popcorn. So anyways, I know this was a little bit longer of a video, but I wanna say thank you for checking it out, making sure you're prepared. Again, if you have any questions once that planning center goes live and you see everything, feel free to reach out to me. I would be more than happy to help with any questions you might have. So thank you guys for all that you do. I so appreciate you guys. I, I hope that you have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you this Sunday.